Welcome to Christ Church, Charliewood Daily Reflections. My name is Olu Olarwaje. My reflection today is on the subject of grace. Someone who has helped me to understand the notion of grace is a man called Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who has been described as a pastor, a martyr, a prophet and a spy. He died fighting for his Christian beliefs in Nazi Germany. A belief that we're saved not by anything we do, but by grace. The true grace comes to us by costly sacrifice. And if God was willing to go to the cross and endure such pain and absorb such cost in order to save us, then we must leave sacrificially as we serve others. Anyone who truly understands how God's grace comes to us will have a changed life. He believed that this costly grace changes you from inside out. So, what do we mean by grace? Grace has been described as the love of God shown to the lovely, peace of God given to the restless, the unmerited favor of God. John Stott, the famous theologian, says, Grace is love that cares and stoops and rescues. Jerry Bridges, the American pastor, said, Grace is God reaching downward to people who are in rebellion against him. And Paul Zal says, Grace is unconditional love towards a person who does not deserve it. So the theme about grace, the consistency, is that it's something it's something given to us by God, it's a gift by God. That we, as human beings, do not deserve. It's a gift that is not earned. And it's a gift that is not based on our works. And the biblical, the biblical context of grace, which I hope will help us in our spiritual journey, is given by Justin Holcomb. He says... Grace is the basis of our Christian identity. And this is confirmed in Corinthians 1.10 when he says, By the grace of God, I am what I am. Our standing before God is also confirmed in Romans 5.2 where it says, This grace in which we stand The Bible also shapes or seeks to shape our behavior when in Corinthians 2.12 it says, We behaved in the world by the grace of God. Our living is also expected to be shaped by grace when it says, Those who receive their abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man. Jesus Christ. And this is confirmed in Romans 5.17. So our strength for living is also shaped by grace. And it says in 2 Timothy 2 verse 1 that be strengthened by the grace that is in Jesus Christ. The Bible also provides a context in terms of the, our way of speaking When he says, let your speech be always gracious in Colossians Colossians 4, 6. Grace also shapes our serving in the Bible. 1 Peter 1, 10 says, serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Our sufficiency is also informed by grace. In 2 Corinthians 2, 9, it says, my grace is sufficient for you. 
in times of difficulties and suffering, we have insight about how grace should inform and shape us. In Hebrews 4.16, when it says, we get grace to help in time of need. And in 1 Peter 1.10, it says, and when you've suffered a little while, the God of all grace will himself restore, confirm, strengthen and establish you. And finally, in our hope beyond death, it says in Romans 5.21, grace reigns through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So quite clearly, the grace of God is central to the life of the Christian. It is, a, it is the essence of being a follower of Christ. And today, I pray, may the grace of God be with you and grant you peace.